Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a massive pattern change that'll be impacting the United States over the next several days and is going to bring a massive cool down to much of the United States the potential for a snowstorm as we go into this weekend and as well as more rainfall to much of the United States I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the eastern tier of the United States which is where a lot of stuff has been happening over the last 24 hours we had multiple tornadoes yesterday across the Dixie Alley as forecasted and unfortunately that happened yesterday and today it's just a lot more rainfall more than anything we do still have a low end severe weather risk for the next several hours across parts of the southeast but overall it's a low threat for the rest of today that marginal threat of severe weather actually goes all the way up into parts of North Carolina Carolina and Southern Virginia. So just keep a tornado action plan in place just in case and have multiple ways to receive alerts. But I don't think we're going to see anything near as bad as yesterday. And most of that threat really will be this morning and as well as into the early to mid afternoon hours. Back over to the Midwest, that is where this low pressure system actually is originating. And here's your counterclockwise spin, which again, very typical for any low pressure system. This will continue to move off to the east and northeast over the next little while, over the next 24 to 48 hours. And there will continue again to be rainfall and as well as the potential for some isolated severe weather over that time frame. And also behind this, there is some cooler air, but it's not going to be anything dramatic. Uh, the next cold blast that we are ha currently have in the forecast would be closer to this weekend. But one key thing with this low pressure system is that it has been going on this sort of track here. So it's basically been going from the Rocky Mountains into parts of the East Coast and also into the Northeast, which isn't coming from North to South. Usually when we have low pressure systems go North to South, larger cool downs come with them because those are coming from Canada, where colder air resides. So we don't really have a major cool down out of this system. But what I'll be watching for over the next several days is the potential for a low pressure system to drop out of Canada and bring colder weather. And we'll talk about more details on that here in just a second. Across much of the Great Plains, it is almost dry as can be for most areas. One exception would be right along the Gulf Coast, which also even in North Texas, cloud cover continues to sit there. Uh, and then back over into parts of the Rocky Mountains, very dry there for now i do forecast at least some sort of snow event as we get closer to the weekend and into early next week and then back over on the west coast it's also looking pretty active right now and that will continue for the next few days now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be developing across the united states over the next several days and what is to come and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream this gives us an idea of those upper level dynamics and the high and low pressure systems and the big storms that will be on the horizon and right now we do have that, again that low pressure system back over just off to the east really of Chicago and then also a ridge that we've not seen in quite a while on the upper levels that's been this defined back over near California and also here's your jet stream subtropical jet stream really exploding still across parts of the southern plains and then back over here to the north that's your polar jet stream that's pretty strong up there and that's hence why we're not really seeing much colder weather is because the polar jet stream responsible for colder air is actually well back out to the north now as we go over the next several days we'll be looking at a couple of different features so by Thursday to Friday Notice this low pressure system that's back down just south of Texas. This will actually be a small little clipper system that's going to develop in Mexico. And it's going to kind of move over Texas, but this probably will not bring much to the United States. I think most of the rain activity will stay off coast. One thing that will bring a lot more rainfall, though, is going to be back up here in Canada. And this could even bring a snowstorm in parts of the United States, including the Rocky Mountains, perhaps even parts of the Central Plains, maybe a little bit of snow sprinkling in across the Midwest. And I'll show you more details on this in a second and also here is again your polar jet stream and here's your subtropical jet stream so just kind of outlining these two regions uh, but again that is really what we're looking at in terms of activity this is the time of year we usually see both jet streams really organizing by the time we go to friday and to saturday though notice this low pressure system right here this is again where that winter storm might try to develop and i would be again watching more closely for the rocky mountains and as well as maybe the central plains for at least some snowfall once we go into sunday into monday it races off to the east so it's going to sit there for a few days then it'll start to race off to the east and it might bring a little bit of snow along the way for parts of the midwest but the bigger thing that this is going to bring is a pretty big cool down to much of the united states including the southern and central plains the mississippi valley the uh the midwest ohio valley i mean just name it and you're probably going to see a cool down the only exceptions might be like the west coast and as well, maybe as well as florida but this will definitely be impacting much of the united states and then once we go into next week things become much more uncertain here's the temperature trend for the next several 
several days across the United States. This is the temperature anomalies, by the way. So when we're looking at the red, that means above normal temperatures in your location. And then blue means below normal temperatures, again, in your location specifically. It does not just mean the general average across the United States. And again, notice today and as well as going into tomorrow, we're really looking at around normal temperatures. Only exception is on the immediate east coast. That's where it might be a little bit above average because of all the rainfall. And then back over into the central and northern plains, actually going into tomorrow, it'll be pretty warm across those areas. One of the colder Thanksgivings that we've had in quite some time is ahead going into Thursday. Uh, notice a couple of different areas in particular that we will have below normal temperatures right along the Gulf Coast is one. Back up into Canada, the Midwest and Northern Plains is the other. A little pocket here of above normal temperatures as well. So again, it depends on where you are, but some areas will be below normal and some will be above normal for Thanksgiving. And then as we go into Black Friday, we will likely have a pretty strong cold air mass developing across the Central Plains. Look at this, near 30 degrees below normal as possible in parts of eastern Colorado for high temperatures on Thursday. That is crazy. And then going into Saturday, it's not going to really change much. We're going to still have that big cold air mass across parts of the Central Plains. Biggest thing with this cold air mass is it's not going to move very quickly. So going into Sunday is when it'll actually move. And that's when it's actually going to move down into parts of the Southern Plains, including North Texas, which notice again, temperatures as low as 15 to 20 degrees below normal in some spots. And by Monday, this cool down will not be as strong. It looks to be a pretty, I would say, weak cool down overall in terms of its intensity and how far south it's going. But in terms of how cold it's going to get, it's definitely going to make a pretty big change. I mean, we're talking again about 15, 20, 25 degrees that it's going to drop off from average even in some spots. Once we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, again, things become more uncertain. But I would expect more cold blasts are on the way as we get closer to the end of November and as well as we, as we get closer to December. All right, let's talk more about the future radar as well. I'll give you an idea of what's going to be happening over the next several days and talk more about the snowstorm that is on the horizon. So again, this is the rain event that's continuing across the East Coast. This will continue for the next several hours and also the next couple of days. Uh, one thing I want to point out is, again, we have very tight isobars across this area. That means wind gusts are going to be a bit higher. So a windy day is ahead across much of the Midwest back through the Southern Plains. Once we go into Wednesday and Thursday, that wind will start to kind of die down, especially in the Southern Plains. But we are going to dry out across much of the United States. Small little clipper system will be on the watch as we go into Thursday and Friday. But again, I don't think this will be tropical. Notice as we go into Friday, a lot of snow is going to be starting to fall across parts of the Rocky Mountains. Overall, this looks to be pretty light to moderate snow. We're not looking at really any heavy patches of snow at this point. But going into late Friday and a Saturday that continues to sit there, it might start to develop more as we go into Saturday. And that might start to spew out a little bit more moderate to heavy snowfall, maybe in the Central Plains. So that'll be something to watch out for. By Sunday, this moves off to the east. We'll have a cold front going through parts of the Southern Plains. And also down here, uh, we'll be watching for mainly rainfall. I don't think we'll see much severe weather going into Sunday out of this particular system. And then back over here to the north, that's where we'll be looking for snow. And overall, it looks to be pretty light stuff. Going into around Monday into Tuesday, again, that will start to move off to the east and then we dry out. So overall, where will this snowstorm or winter storm really be impacting? Well, the European model right now has a lot more snowfall falling in near the Rocky Mountains more than anything, but it might spew out into parts of Nebraska and as well as Kansas. I don't think we're going to see a winter storm throughout, throughout like Iowa or Missouri or Illinois or anything like that. So that's good news if you're not looking forward to snow, but obviously if you're you know looking forward to snow, you're probably not going to see much, unfortunately. That's it for today's forecast. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the button down below and subscribe if you've not already.